Hey guys, welcome back in again with your pal Nice In, and today it is Comic Book Wednesday. I'm going to be going over new releases for this week, as well as key issues from Key Collector Comics, and a little kind of synopsis of what's going on with those books. If you're here and you're new to the channel, please give this video a thumbs up, leave a thought, a feeling, or a question in the comment section below. I love to read my comments, and I would love to earn your subscription. So, on with the books. <laughs> We're going to start off this week with Vampirilla number 23, Virgin Variant. It is a 1 in 50, and I like the art. It's a little dark, but definitely interesting. Next, we have Superman, Son of Kal-El, number 2. This issue is a first appearance of The Truth, J. McAmera. McAmera. I haven't read this title yet, but uh, I'm getting interested in it. I want to see, I want to see where they go with the story. Issue one, Superman versus Lobo. I love when these two get together. It is a lot of fun. Lobo is a fun character. So this is going to be a limited series of three issues, and it is 17 and over. So we're going to see some funny stuff, man. Definitely going to read this book. I think it's going to be quite the time. Amazing Fantasies number two. This is a variant edition by, you guessed it, one of my favorite artists, Peach Momoko. King Spawn, premiere issue, the first ongoing Spawn title in over 30 years. There's three different variants that came out. We have the A cover. We have this cover right here by David Finch. And we have another variant cover by Mr. Todd McFarlane himself. King Spawn. Darkhawk, number one. We got Darkhawk coming back in issue one here. And this is the first appearance of Connor Young, who becomes, you guessed it, Darkhawk. I'm pretty excited about this issue. Just like they did Batman 89, they're coming back with the original and probably my favorite Superman of all time, Christopher Reeve, Superman number 78. This is going to be in the Richard Donner movie uh, era and Superman will be battling Brainiac. Now there was some talks about how the third Superman, which was absolutely terrible, that uh, that big old construct machine was Brainiac, but I, I'm not really sure about that. I mean, the movie was, like I said, it was absolutely horrible, and Quest for Peace was just as bad. But I'm really excited about this. This should be a fun read. It's going to be one of six issues. So this might be interesting, for real. I mean, I love Gene Hackman as Lex Luthor. He was, he was definitely phenomenal. Going to read this. I'm very excited to check it out. Yes, these books are sideways for a purpose. The spine is actually on the left there, and it's going kind of long ways. And it's called Echolands, number one, from Image. And I guess in the future, where they really don't know the past, this protagonist right here, and I believe her name is Hope Red Hood, has a key to help restore and excavate the past of the world to all. But she has to really defeat this person over here, a wizard and his unstoppable daughter. So it's an image title. It's a number one. Of course, I'm going to get both probably A and B covers if it's still around. So yeah, anything from image, I definitely get the number ones. It's, it's always a good bet. But you know, the prowess of the story doesn't seem very interesting. So hopefully this book is a good read. You guys already know how I feel about this title. Something is killing the children. And this art is by a gentleman Werther Della Dera. So it looks pretty interesting. I love this title. And it, all these issues keep going up in price and they keep getting super hot. We have a one shot here, the Symbiote Riot. And we got a B cover as well. Another one of my favorite artists. Yes, you guessed it, Miss Peach Bomoko, variant edition. It is Marvel's Voices Identity number one. And this book right here is basically a celebration of all the Asian superheroes, Shang-Chi, Jubilee, Miss Marvel, Silk, Jimmy Roo. And it is written and illustrated by Asians, artists, and authors. Okay, way to go, representation. Good job. Avengers number one annual. This book is key issue of the week. And it's featuring a first appearance of a new character called Multitude, who is believed to have beaten Iron Man and Captain America within inches of their lives. And uh, yeah, so this might be an interesting book to check out for sure. New character that can take down Cap and Iron Man at the same time and 
completely obliterate them almost to death. So, might be interesting. We got Nonstop Spider-Man issue four. This is the first appearance of a new character called Wolf, and it is spelled W-U-L-F. So, Wolf, 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 Wolf. New character appearance, man. He looks pretty badass. I like the art on this one. The character looks kind of cool. Possibly if this is the first appearance of this character, then I think that would be a first cover appearance, but unsure yet. But I'm guessing yes. All right, Captain America number three. So this is a first appearance of Joe Gomez, and he is from the Kickapoo tribe. It doesn't really say anything more than that. Don't really know any more speculation on this book, but it's a first appearance. But Kickapoo Tribe, you could come up with a better name than that. I don't even know how far back that goes, but there's this one. All right, we got War of the Bounty Hunters, Darth Vader, number 15. And not a whole lot of knowledge on this book. It's basically saying that there's going to be a big reveal about Boku and the Hut Council. Now, they don't know if Boku is a planet, a destination, or a character, but they said we'll soon find out it in later issues. All right, guys, that sums it up for this week, August 25th. Uh, check out these titles, man. I mean, I definitely really like the Superman. Uh, this book is going to be pretty interesting, I'm guessing. And, of course, I love the art from David Finch. He's one of my other favorite artists. Does a really great job drawing books, for sure. Anyways, guys, that's all for today. Take care, make it your day, and as always, have fun. Bye, guys.